welcome to Carteret Connects. I'm Mike McHugh, the host of Coastal Daybreak, along with this guy, Richard Clark, News Director for the Carteret News Times. And uh, we're sitting here on uh, Wednesday, June 10th. And uh, boy, the big story in Carteret County is, drumroll, the goat gets into marlin. The big marlins, yeah. Um, they have, actually, you know, I think the fish that they brought in at this, uh, the second, se- 20, se- ugh, the 62nd. Uh, they've been annual, smaller, right? They've been small. Yeah. I mean, smaller. Because there's, there's money hanging out there for the first boat that brings in a fish that's greater than 500 pounds. And right now, they've been in like that four, well, 494 was the first fish that came in. I, I think somebody that. got one yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think so. I read I read a story on Coastal Daybreak this morning, and I think they've all been in that uh, today, or the results from yesterday, were in the mid-400s. Really? So if that's true, um, the first fish, or the first boat that brings in a fish greater than 500 pounds uh, gets a prize of 500 and fifty-two thousand dollars. Man, uh, you know, it's that's gotta that's hurt if those guys that had that one where they it missed it by five, like five and a half yeah, pounds. That's gotta hurt, man. It's like yeah, shove a couple cans of beer. Yeah, in that, yeah, yeah that a, a they, dumbbell or something. something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they 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 check them out probably more more closely than they do a NASCAR <laughs> vehicle after uh, after the race for inspection. Get a piece of tungsten. And throw yeah, it put it. some tungsten in there. Put, put a couple rounds in the back of that fin. You know. But uh, no, so and then, and then of course you know who's down here fishing? None other than Michael Jordan. The greatness, yeah, yeah. Michael Jordan, the Catch Twenty Three boat. I love that. Oh yeah, so, uh, you know. I wonder where that. Would you love to know all of the behind the scenes of that? You know, who brought it up to Moorhead City? Where does it go next? You know, who's on the boat with him? Right. And they all have they all have like crew shirts on. Right. You know, I mean, you know, they were given those shirts. They got video of them handing them to them. So I don't know if that was I can't believe the tournament. Were, I can't or, believe you weren't down there. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm trying to not be a fanboy and be down there all you know. fanboy. <laughs> Just give it up. I mean, this is your only chance unless he comes back next year, you know, and does it again. The, you, the, you were right. The leader is at 494.2. So that yeah. So the, wow. Uh, and today's Wednesday. Um, you got they, three days. They got uh, up until Saturday. Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, but they yeah. have to stay out a cer- uh, certain number of days. Right. So they can't fish every day. So that's the strategy. Oh they're really? Like, okay. Mm-hmm. And they, they do it, you know, about, you know, where they, what they posted on the board, what they boarded so far, and then uh, what the weather looks like. And just, there's a, it's a lot of strategy involved in that. It's not just a bunch of guys. Oh, going out. I'm sure there absolutely is. I don't, I don't know nothing about fishing, but I'm sure that. But I think, wouldn't it be cool to be on, more to on it. the boat? If I, what's, how many are on the boat? Six to eight people? How many yeah. eight people or so? I'm sure that a son out there holding a fishing line, not talking and just looking at the water. I'm sure on Jordan's boat, there's a lot of trash talk and can you imagine and being just out there? stories yeah, yeah just stories to hear yeah. you know yeah. and maybe he's not the one that is the one that has to tell all the stories you know i don't know who else is on that boat no his stories are uh, most of them are probably a lot of them are well known not all of them I'm sure. yeah but you know you get a group of people together after a couple of days they start to know one another and you know hey tell us about the and, and, the they, time pro- and look, this. they probably let's be realistic they don't necessarily need the money so they're really here for the Competition and the fun, and they caught a marlin. Well, I, so I don't know who these people they're are. They're probably who all are these people. Yeah, who are these people, know. you know, yeah, you know, it's friends not, of his, obviously. It's not the old GM from the Bulls. I can no. guarantee you that. Oh, absolutely not. Who's that guy's name? Kraus. Yeah. Jerry Kraus? No. Yeah. No, he didn't like yeah, Unless they threw him in out it's, there. It's they, yeah. <laughs> hey, if, 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 you, if, you're, if you see Michael Jordan, or Michael, if you're watching this, we know we have a large audience. We cast a wide net, you know, what the heck? Uh, yeah, consider maybe inviting Jerry down, Jerry Krause, that is, for some of the Jerry last... Jerry died. Huh? Jerry Krause died. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know he was sick. Okay, yeah. never mind. I was going to say you can meet him as chum. <laughs> I think that was in one of the episodes. He could get Phil down, though. Him and Phil could, you know, hang out. Yeah, he liked Phil. Though. Phil's he, doing he, nothing. He wouldn't chum Phil. It'd <laughs> be cool to see Rodman show up for a day. Oh, wow. You know? Look what Dennis is doing these days. He's fishing. Yeah. Well, he's not fishing here at least. Not, not fishing might, for fish. He might have his he might have his rod dipped in some other body of water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who knows, you know? But what is he doing every day? I don't what have no doing? idea. What, I mean, what do you do? Because he doesn't have endless money like Mike does. So what do you do? You think I mean, don't you have to do something? I know, but you know, watching the last dance, they, they interviewed Rod, Rod, Rod Robin, yeah, and uh, I was gonna say Rod, I'm like, Clinton. yeah, but uh, I mean, he was in what looked like a nice palatial house, the foyer at least. I mean, room. he shouldn't be broke, but you never know with that kind of stuff. I mean, you know, he wasn't making tons of money. I well, mean, he's not living under a bridge. No, he yeah, it's not like that. But, um, Hopefully, he yeah he looked out for himself a little bit. At I least. hope so, or, or his people did, his agent right, did. Exactly. You know? Well, it's, some of them, like Alan Iverson's agent, he had a clause where when he turns fifty, he gets like 
five or six million bucks. He's got the smart. Right. So, I mean, you know, no matter what happens to his money, he's good. And I think Alan, Alan do Alan. Well, the best all-time deal ever for an agent was Bobby Bonilla. He gets oh, one point. Defense. Yeah, he gets one point two a year for the next, well, for the last 20 some odd years. Can you imagine that? Yeah, I think it runs out either next year or the year after. Bobby B. And he had played since the no, 80s. No. Yeah. And he's still banking. Still banking How a Mets check. How do you do that? Uh, you know, I don't like one of the best deals of all time. Actually, in my opinion, the second best sports deal ever. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's second so number two. I'm stuck with baseball. I chose swimming instead. Yeah. That's gotten me. Yeah. Host the Coastal Bay Daybreak. I get a biscuit. That's big now. time. It's huge. <laughs> Morgan City. We're all over the air. We own the airways. So it's a blowtorch. And now we got the podcast going. We're like up to like a hundred some episodes here. So yeah. So we have. Yeah, and we even got three people to watch. Yeah, we got your mom, my mom, and and, uh, and my girlfriend. So you know. okay, my wife hasn't figured out. I, I have to. Shows. I have to bribe her to do it, but still. That's crazy. <laughs> so anyway, the fishing's taking place. We're gonna head down there maybe tomorrow and check out uh, what's going on. I, they go out early, so yeah, they go out really. You either gotta you, you gotta come back at the in the afternoon. I think is what. Yeah, it would is. it would be. I wouldn't want to do it because I wouldn't want to be out that far, but. Um, it would be nice to be able to video somebody on a boat sometime, but again, I would personally want to do it. Um, yeah, I'm sure there. I'm sure there are people doing that. I, I don't think there's enough drama mean in the world for me to be out there. New, 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 and, and you know, Les still said today and yesterday, this is perfect uh, uh, offshore fishing weather. Really, the highs parked over the fishing grounds, as Les said. But you're right. It's well, got it's got to be like a pool. Don't they yeah. got a good off the continental shelf to fish these things? No. Well, they go at, they go out towards the Gulf Stream. Right. So they got to go 25, 30 miles out from Moorhead City. Uh, Better you than me. No. Yeah. no. That's a that's. I'm a land creature. I'm a land. I mean, you imagine taking a boat. It's taking a boat from Moorhead where we are mm -hmm. right now in the studio, and going basically, uh, almost basically a, to almost, almost well the Piney Green. Yeah. About that. About 30 miles. Yeah. You know, in Jacksonville, and now you're now you can now you can fish. Oh my goodness! I, I yeah. would have been overboard, you know. I would yeah. have lost breakfast, I, I would dinner, lost, I would have lost last weight. lunch, yeah. Right, yeah, and I would have, we would have been chumming out there. Yeah, it, it would have been Jerry, be, but uh, you know he's dead anyway, so we can't. And and, and again, I, I'm from that generation, so all I can think of, you're going to need a need a bigger boat. That's all yeah. I can think of. Yeah, those when boats I'm out aren't there. that. I mean, they're not they're not big, big, you know. Uh, look, all I know is something needs them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I mean, you know, I know it's it, the ocean. it does. A, it has a huge economic impact here. In, oh, absolutely. In, in Eastern North Carolina, um, the whole fishing industry in this part. The, 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 um, the hospice up in Newport was funded in part from yeah. the Big Rock. Yeah. Uh, so it does great work for the community. I still feel bad for the fish. <laughs> you know, there's this big, massive fish. And I don't. You know, you catch a four. You catch a five hundred pound marlin. How long? Does it take for a marlin to yeah. grow to that size? How old are they? Yeah. And there they are. I don't wrong, know anything about wrong that. Wrong place, wrong time. Yeah. And they get hooked up. And so they, they come in, they weigh, they get uh, they, they get dissected. They, they don't really eat. I don't think they use any of the any I don't of the know meat. what they you do don't with eat it. marlin. I don't know. I'll have the, I'll maybe have they the, do, maybe they don't. I'll have the marlin and a salad with a rig of yeah. you know. Uh, you don't eat fried You got At least you got to fight them, though. It's not like some of the other stuff. You, marlin. You, yeah, marlin you have to nuggets. fight a marlin. Marlin nuggets. Uh, yeah, well, you have to fight a marlin to get it on board. It doesn't give up easy, so. Filet a marlin. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. think they have it on the menu. Unless it's a, they changed the name of it. Maybe they do. Maybe they spell it backwards. Yeah, I don't know. And, 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 yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure if somebody out there could tell us if that's how, what they have do. Have you ever tasted marlin? Have you eaten marlin? Uh, I don't know enough Dried about marlin. Jerky. Marlin yeah. jerky. Nothing about it. Yeah. So what's, how do you spell it backwards? Yeah. See, we don't know. Milrim. Oh, the yeah. Milrim. We're we're, yeah. Milrim. we're we're it's like Mahi Mahi and Dolphin. Yeah. We're um why'd they name a fish dolphin? Fish, fish why did they name two different why did they name two different fish dolphin? Hey, I'm and sure. And then Flipper was, comes out. I'm sure that was somebody somewhere that you know I wonder if they probably they, a language. It was thing. Mahi Mahi. But it's also dolphin. Yeah, I'm so sure. So you think that's before Flipper came out, people were just calling it Dolphin and saying, be, be done with it. Cause I'm sure. Sure. It's, it's probably a TV. translation thing. What, what's Mahi Mahi? What language is that? Well, that's probably like some Bora one of the Bora, islands. From yeah. Bora Bora? Somewhere out there. They talk in speak. Well, maybe. In Bora Bora? Hey. It's like Tommy Two Tommy. Be careful. Tom, Tommy Two. <laughs> be careful. In, what's that in the good fellas? Yeah. Those guys. Yeah. You know Tommy I mean? Two Times, yeah. Two, Tommy Two Times. You know what I mean? You know what yeah. I mean? No, I, 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 I don't It's twice. probably a translation thing. Because I, I actually think in. Like one of the languages, the dolphin is spelled different than the other one. 
you know why like Leonard Skinner I don't know maybe I, like, I, like Skinner maybe an F I don't know yeah. but it seems like I remember something about that from English class or something that was a translation yeah. thing I'm sure it is Leonard Skinner they took out the E and the O and they took Y's <laughs> yeah it's a translation thing all right. <laughs> it's a southern thing they're from Jacksonville, Florida they're not Gainesville, Florida oh I know yeah yeah. I grew up in the South. I grew up in Richmond. And who was Leonard Skinner? You didn't who go was, to a party while was, here in Freeburg. Who was Leonard Skinner? Answer this correctly, and we'll give you a uh, certificate for a uh, fast food restaurant we're about to uh, bring on the show here. Mm. That'd be a good question. Yeah, I do not know. See, that'd be a good. What? You don't know who Leonard Skinner was? Why would I? Because I mean, you're, I, you're I heard Southern. Him. You were grow, born in the South. And yeah, and I, and I know like the Skinner? words to Freeburg. I mean, you know. Leonard Skinner, when the band formed, they had a different, they had obviously a different name, but um, it was uh, Van Zandt and Ross and mm-hmm. And uh, they're, they had long hair because they were in a band, right? right? And their, um, their gym teacher at high school was a former Marine, short hair and all that, and his name was Leonard Skinner. Oh. So they named the band Leonard Skinner, but they, they took out the Change the words, yeah, yeah change the letters. What a, what a, you know, so pretty cool. Leonard, I love Leonard, Leonard Skinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up in the South, so you heard him at Now, that would have been, that would have been a, a good question. Because we're going to do this, guys, because we know our, our, our reach uh, of, this, of the podcast <laughs> I'll, I'll is, massive, <laughs> is massive. So uh, we're going to hook up with a, a local restaurant, fast food uh, restaurant, which you'll like, because uh, they have just wonderful food. And uh, for instance, like that question, mm-hmm. the first person to walk into the restaurant and say, hey, I heard it on Carter and Coastal. Carter at Connects, um, the answer is Leonard Skinner. Yeah, you get free give me, my, give me my free food. Yeah. And they'd say, there you go. Yeah, and we'll be doing a, that soon. We're going to be doing that too. So that'll be, that'll be fun. But that's kind of what we'll, we'll, we'll do. Something that's like a that. tough one, though. I mean, you need something they can't just straight Google because that's what they're going to do. You can Google that. I think, yeah. But I just know that because I'm, I'm brilliant yeah. and off the top oh, of my head. Oh, yeah. You, know. okay. you could do all the sports stuff like Michael Jack. <laughs> what year did he come out in the draft? You know, was, he the, was Michael Jordan the number one draft pick? Oh, yeah. And if so, what year? Well, everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody. A lot of, most people in North Carolina know that, like Leonard Skinner. Most people in North Carolina know that he wasn't drafted first, so. But that's a good question because right. people say, oh, he's the greatest basketball player of all time. Of course greatest he was drafted. No, he was. What was he drafted? Third. Wow. Yeah. And who came in Who came in one and two that year? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Come on now. You know I do. People, I was smart. Akeem Ak- 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 and Sam I just Bowie. marveled them with my brilliance of Leonard Skinner. Akeem and Sam Bowie. Akeem Elijah won. Yeah. And Sam the reality Bowie. of it is, you you know, Sam Bowie could play, so the injuries derailed his. And Elijah won's a Hall of Famer, so... But did uh, Elijah Wan ever get the ring? Yeah, he got two. With the two years, yeah, the two years that, that, that Jordan they, they was out. Yeah. yeah, Bowie never did. Yeah, Bowie never got one. He was hurt a lot. He might have got one with the Lakers now because he was on the bench for them. Yeah. Um, but other than that, he didn't actually play. I didn't know Elijah Wan. I had forgotten that he got uh, that he got the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the twice he got the ring. Oh yeah, because Jordan beat be Patrick once. Jordan and the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. What a matchup that was. Yeah. Wow. And well, Patrick was already at the point where he was starting to hurt a lot, so Elijah Wong was. This, better I mean, I, I'm not disappointed. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm saddened for Patrick Ewing that he never got an NBA championship. You know, because I mean, it was just when he came out of Georgetown, number one pick, with the Knicks. He was a monster with the Knicks, right? Yeah, I mean, he was come an on, this monster. is it. This is going to be the yeah. time for the Garden to shine. You know, well, like, how number one, they, they how can they not win a championship? They didn't do a good job of surrounding him with players. Number one. Um, number two, injuries, knees started giving him problems probably five years in. Yeah. Uh, and he was not the same player. By his sixth, seventh, eighth year, he was, wasn't the same player. Because if you ever saw him play in the early Big East days, he was an absolute monster. Oh, my God, yeah. What would he have needed in the NBA to, to make, to complement his talent? Another another twin tower? Like they all used to call Someone like Scottie Pippen, honestly. So kind of like a swing. Yeah, somebody yeah. outside that was a legitimate. That he could, he could dump to, or that could, could handle the ball and get the ball to him. That's the that's why the big man has been, I don't want to say eliminated, but changed in basketball because you have to have somebody to get them the ball. If it's a guy that has the ball, you don't need anybody else to get him the ball. Like LeBron doesn't need anybody to get him the no, ball. No. He goes and gets it. Yeah, with a big man, you have to have somebody to get it to him. Um, and that's not no, as Iverson easy. Iverson was like that too. Yeah. Iverson could just go get the ball. Just the ball. And I mean, that's where the league is now. That's where all basketball is, really. Uh, well, what's his name? Uh, Curry. Yeah. You know. I mean, that's that's why everybody's kind of curious to see what happens to the Duke kid Zion because right now he needs somebody to get him the ball. Will he get to the point like Barkley did, where he eventually had grown to where he didn't need somebody to get him the ball? He could just get it. Like himself. well, like Magic Johnson right. was like that too. Well, Magic just get the ball and go with it. 
by Barkley's third, fourth year, he could just get the ball and go yeah. with it himself. Yeah. I think you'll see that. I mean, it's gonna. It always looks strange when somebody other than a, a six three or smaller guard brings the ball yeah. up. Well, it the, always looks strange when you saw look, Magic Johnson do it. The right perfect now. basketball team now has nobody over six eight and nobody under six six. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality of it. Yeah. If you could just put it together a team and say, "This is my team," uh, that's how it's played now. Six six to six eight. Yeah, that's how it's played now. That's Curry. He's under that. Yeah, he's about six two, but. Yeah, he's probably the best shooter all time. That's so. Anytime you're the best at anything all time, heck, if you're the best line. Marlin fisherman of all time, you can do what you want. He's an outliner on that. So yeah, you just throw that. Yeah, you, you can't count out. him. Yeah. You say what's well, dealing with six six basketball? Uh, we got to be careful here with our audience. We probably just lost my mother on that. Yeah. One. So, but let's bring let's bring the audience back. Come on back, mom. We're gonna talk about NASCAR. NASCAR. She loves NASCAR. Uh, Martinsville. I love Wednesday racing. I do too. I love I Wednesday really racing. I, 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 I've really gotten used to it, to be yes. honest. Well, you get used to it, and you're going to be spoiled if. Well, Nash- true story. Last night, I got home uh, from pretty late from work and um, was all excited because I thought it was Wednesday. Yeah. And it was not Wednesday. Was too- <laughs> and I was <laughs> just like, oh. But uh, they're going to be in Martinsville yeah. at the uh, at the paperclip without fans in the uh, in the stands. But nonetheless, it's a cup race. I hope they, I mean, when they start looking at the 21 schedule next year, I hope they, and maybe they won't do it all the way through, but yeah. incorporate a few of these. It would be nice. It's easier without the fans, though, because of the traffic and all that. Yeah, stuff. that's true. That's true. So but I, I, I don't know, know how that'll work. Right now. And, and again, in August is going to be, you know, pretty crazy sports-wise. All these things stuff. coming yeah. back, yeah. you know, golf, uh, basketball, football. Baseball. Hockey and eh, baseball. I'm still not sold. They're gonna be they're back. stupid. Yeah, they're stupid. I'm not gonna, they had a new proposal this morning. We'll see how that goes. Um, you know, they increased the number of games, so hopefully the players from what to what they were talking. Yeah, seven, it's like eight more games or something some, between they, seventy and eight, and, and they increased the amount of teams that are gonna be in the playoffs. They're trying. It sounds like somebody's trying to get to the the half that. The, Excuse me. The halfway. Yeah. Ultimately, it comes number, back to fifty percent of the season. Right. right. One hundred sixty-two is a full a full slate. So right. somebody's trying to get to eighty-one. Well, it's much like um, the the collective bargaining is much like what teachers in many areas have, where they have to work X amount of days right. to get their salary. Um, and baseball is the same way. Yeah. Out. But you know, we talked about this on the show or on the radio show yesterday. I think the uh, the the minimum salary for a major league player five sixty-three. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So that's for a full season. I mean, we were saying, you know, just rhetorically among ourselves, could you not live, Mr. Baseball Player, for just this season alone? Just talking to the guys who get minimum two hundred thousand dollars. You know, that is a story I've always really wanted. Was the guy that was a pro for two years in whatever sport, and then had to go be in the real world. Yeah, yeah. Um, how that worked out for you? What was the money situation like? You know, because it's a massive change. Oh number my one. goodness! Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're going from something you did all the time to now you got to do whatever it is you're going to be and doing. And it's not, you're not working. And you didn't make enough money that you could not work. So I, mean, I, I was one of those young guys in baseball, man, just pack it away and save it so you, you don't put yourself yeah. in that position. But you're also Unless, 21. Yeah. Now, and, and if you if you bounce out after three years of playing Major League Ball, you're 24. Broadcast isn't really going to hire you. The average you're career in the, in the NFL is like three years. Yeah. The NBA is like two and a half. Yeah. I mean, it's, these are nothing, and everybody's like, oh, they're rich. Yeah, but, you know, there's a lot of stuff going into that. Your agent right off the top gets 15%. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Taxes, yeah, taxes, another 50. Yeah, I know. So, you, you, know, don't wanna, you don't want to break out the fiddle, you know, the violin yeah. and say, hey, I'm sorry. But it goes guys. like that. But it does go like that. And the thing is, you know, you're you're 25 years old. And the other thing, too, is... Younger maybe, than that. You, you now. Know, and, and maybe, you know, just maybe you just kind of did one year of college, in the basketball, basketball one or year football, in the NFL, you, you, you got to be twenty one. You might bounce out after your junior year. Right. You don't have the degree. Is that important? You know, as as far as your job. So you go back to your hometown, which could be in some little sandlot in the middle of nowhere. Could be Morehead. What do you, you, you be, go to Morehead? So what are you going to do? Let's bring him back to Morehead. What are you going to do? Work at a, at a car. It's like Matt Dodson's situation. Situation. You know, yeah. and he fell on his feet. Obviously, he had a brain. Right. He has so, a brain. but I mean, that's that's the, the questions that'd be nice to ask. What did he do to prepare for it? Was it, you know, did he get lucky somewhere along the way? Well, Matt Dodge, something? first of all, he graduated West Carter High School. Yep, West then, then he graduated college. He graduated yep. college, so he had a college degree. He had a cup of and coffee I, in the NFL. And I think he was, I think he was in, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was in finance. So yep. he, he, had a, he has a brain on it. And, 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 that, and that's and the deal. And then got drafted as a punter with the Jets and played a that's season. Giants. Giants, sorry. Yep. 
uh, played with the Giants as, for one season, so he had one season of NFL. He said he, he saved a lot. He had a signing bonus, and he, and he had, you know. And see, that's the thing. I mean, you know. But he was smart, so he came back, and he's doing financial right. planning. Matt Dodge. That, that's, Check him out, Matt That's Dodge. the deal. And, and the, like, the NBA's got a new thing where you can go into their developmental league, um, make five hundred grand, and they have all these. They have a, they have it set up so if you do it, you can automatically go to Arizona State at, if you quit when you finish playing to get a degree. You also have the resources of financial advisors and all those people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know they're trying to what you fix some of this. He said stuff. something really cool. I mean, I forget what his salary was because he was like he was drafted and he was like at the minimum salary. But it was yeah, I want to say it was like one eighty or something, something like that. So and they get paid. The NFL gets paid each. They game. get paid each game that yeah. they play. So they play a sixteen game schedule. So he's here. Do the math. Break out. You know, divide sixteen into that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a nice number. Right. He's number. Here. Now think what Manning. Manning's yeah. Manning's salary. I think like, is, it was twenty five yeah, million. Yeah. It was, was twenty five million. So the quarterback. Um, I don't want to say yeah. Peyton, but it's, yeah. it's younger. Eli. Eli. Eli's making twenty five mil a year with the Giants. Divide sixteen. So he's bringing, he's bringing 16. about one point five a check. Damn. <laughs> one point five million a check. He's hitting the lottery every yeah. week. I mean, he's hitting yeah. the scratch off every week. That, I mean, that is insane. That, that to me, when I, you know, you, you, you talk about like baseball players and the minimum's five something, okay, and they have a longer season. I, I you, you can kind of get your arms around that number, but when you talk about and when you talk about NFL, NFL, and they're making and, and, they're making, and they make the least money of all the major sports. They have players. Think do. about basketball. You know, think. And, you I'm know, just saying. Think when I mean, you know, uh, LeBron. Whatever. What's LeBron's salary? Oh, he's, he's got a match forty five a year. Okay, almost, almost, and almost, almost a mil a week. Oh, mil a week. What's that look like when he goes on to his, if he goes on to his online banking, bankofamerica.com, username, password? Hey, I got my deposit. And, and you know, in. it just came in. It's eight hundred thousand dollars. I'm sure a lot of people don't like LeBron, but and and I'm not a huge fan. NFL. But he he's one of these success stories. I mean, he's had pressure on him since he was a sophomore in high school. They were watching him, then. right? Yeah, I mean, it's been, he was on TV, on ESPN national TV, his basketball team in high school. So he's been expected to be, and he's done it. You know, he's one of the very few success stories, whether it's acting, singing, whatever, child, whatever like you want to call it. Like Michael Jackson. Like a child yeah. actor, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the few that has been successful and delivered what he was supposed to deliver. Think about it. Go back and think about it. Yeah. Who, Ron Howard? Yeah, I mean LeBron could, and who else? Well, who, he, he who said Michael Jackson. Yeah, that, you know, but yeah, and that's well, yeah, did. yeah. Well, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah that's shaky. Saying. But that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's just it's just not that many because he's been since he was 14. He's been the number one. He's on TV. Everybody knew it. The pressure on that has yeah. got to be, you know. And he's done a pretty good job business wise, um, you know. So. Yeah. You gotta take your hats off to that. Good shields. Throw her in there too. <laughs> <laughs> She's still on TV from time to time. For what? I saw aging on something. Cream? Aging, no, aging cream. Oh man, she was on something not long ago. Like um, diapers. She played. She's how old is she? She She's played like age. a trailer trash mother for on one of the shows, a comedy show. Oh, comedy. Yeah, yeah. On it was comedy. She yeah. wasn't on Ozark. No, I love that. But show. that she could have been on that. That was a character. I love Ruth. Like she was like Jamie Presley's. You remember uh, like what was that? Too. The one that the girl from Kinston was in uh, that show where she was. Angie Donington? No, no, no. <laughs> what the? Jamie Presley. Oh, was Jamie on. Presley. That, yeah. that other girl. And they were like in the trailer was. park or something. Yeah. Anyway, it was like her mother type okay. character. Angie, could, Angie could have played a mother type. <laughs> she is a mother. Got, I know. Well, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Just step right into the role. <laughs> <laughs> Missed you calling, Angie. Yeah. Better really? leave her alone before she comes up here and beats you up. She would. She would slap me around like a bad piece of meat. She'd slap me like a, a slam me like a cheap screen door. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to the race tonight. I'm looking forward to see. It starts at seven o'clock too, yeah. so I can catch most of it early. I go to bed at eight thirty for early. Yeah, because you're God old. Forsaken. Well, no, because I have to get up at four thirty for this <laughs> godforsaken uh, you know call in at six o'clock. Oh, um, coastal daybreak kills me. I hope the weather holds up. I mean, it's starting to look kind no, of rainy. Here. Cloudy. Yeah, it was uh, sunny and sunny. Where's and Les at? We need to get him. He's back home. He, he starts earlier than I do. He, he comes into the studio at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I don't know he's why, because look, he's wrong. No, he's not. He was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they put that 20% chance of rain. It's like depending on where you are. Yeah, I, I have. I hold a grudge because he, he messed up my car wash the other day. So See, I depend on rainy weather for my car to get washed. 
Yes, well, that's raining heavy. I go out and I just go up and down the street real fast so I can get a little rinse. Oh, good lord! I haven't washed my I haven't washed that car in years. Well, you got like three hundred thousand miles. Two hundred thirty-nine. Yeah. Two hundred thirty-nine thousand miles, and yeah. uh, still running. So yeah, it's a Ford. It's built Ford Tough. Yeah, Ford F. Sanders Ford, Jacksonville yeah. and Swansboro. So uh, right. yeah, so lots of good stuff happening. Uh, check out the fishing tournament if you're. Um, a lot of questions out there too. Yeah, I wish I could read that. It's like in one point. They're probably time. telling us about the fish stuff because we don't know anything about the models. So. Shut up. You know, yeah, you know, shut up because yeah. we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we I have, do not. He knows I'm basketball. First to admit, I know Leonard Skinner. He knows basketball. I, I know nothing about the the Marlins tournament, um, other than who wins every year. Well, I will tell you what, three point three million dollar. And I know it's tough because I've seen it on TV. Yeah, and um, what do they use for what do they use for bait? What do they use for bait? I'm sure. Good question. I've asked Doctor Bogus that one. Yeah, I'm sure Bogus it's knows. Probably like bluefish or big fish. It's got to be something. They chill, right? Yeah, they got to. Yeah, well, they're not out there. You know, they're not with a minnow. They're not fishing with, <laughs> they're not fishing with plankton. <laughs> Let me put on this uh, salmon egg. See what I get. You know. I, I don't. I, I I hate fishing. Yeah, I, I, I do. <laughs> I like I I the it's concept. You know, I love talking to Bogus. You know. Um, about fishing, but uh, I, when I was he knows a lot about it too. Oh, yeah. He's on the podcast too. Check him out. Same network. Doctor Bogus. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's a, he rocks. Uh, my my grandfather would take us trout fishing in the creeks. We call them creeks, and I got bored. Like ten minutes into it. Yeah. First of all, he got, he would wake us up five o'clock. He said, "Come on, the fish are biting." He'd go down. We we'd go down to the shop where he worked, dig worms out of the ground. Really? Yeah. And then we'd go out to the creek, and uh, it's about as wide as a city street, you know, <laughs> and cold. And, you know, you get tangled up in the rocks or in the trees, and then it's like, Grandpa, I, I'm tired. I will say this. Thing. I didn't end up eating the bait. I didn't eat the worms. I, I eat corn. We use canned corn for bait. I've always wanted to um, catch a little try fish. fly fishing. No. In, in like, in the Montana. Montana. Yeah. yeah. Watch the river runs through it. I've watched it. It's a great movie. Yeah, yeah. I've There's always, fly fishing. I mean, they make it look good. It's like roller skating. My girlfriend's been watching TikTok lately, and they got these really cool, you know, elegant roller skating stuff. Yeah. So now we're going to go roller skating soon. And I'm gonna probably kill myself because you should like. I haven't been on like, roller skates like, like, in uh, thirty get, years. Like dirty, you know, roller dirty. Just like well, elbow Gwen. You know? The Jessie that used to work with us uh, worked she for me. That. She's doing. Yeah, they did that in Jacksonville. Yeah, she's doing it in Wilmington. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It well, used to be a TV show on the weekends. Yeah, you know, I've been to it in Richmond when I was a little kid. Yeah, they had it out there. Now that was that was. I mean, and that was like it, wrestling. It was wrestling on roller skates. Yeah. But it, I mean, you could get really. I mean, I think you could get hurt in that. It looked look like you could slip over that railing. Yeah, and, and, they're, and you're going around and they're elbowing. Because you know, back then they had to. They were banked. They, yeah, they were banked. They don't have that. It's like rollerball. Remember that movie? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's. But yeah, we're going. Look out! We're going roller skating. I might be in crutches. Shortly. I'll tell you what. I haven't been on. That's them. you know. I remember a neighbor, um, Tom Hamby's dad. Uh, this is back growing up in, dare I say, Allentown. He was, uh, he wasn't our age now. He was a dad, so he was, what, 35 or so? And Tom Tom got a skateboard. Mm -hmm. This is in the early 70s. Yeah. Right? So his dad takes it out. Oh, hurt himself. He hurt the, himself. Hell, his leg was like a, looked like the letter L. I, I've came been, right out of it. And he, first time on it, he snapped his leg. Shout out to Carter County uh, native, um, Katrina Catfield. Um, when we were in Fort Myers, I went roller skate, rollerblading. Actually, that was 1994. Is the last time I've been. Yeah, oof, that's the end. So here we go. The skateboarding. I, I just don't and, have and, and let's be clear. I had a, a treadmill accident the other day. <laughs> Would you fall asleep? Um, <laughs> you went backwards. <laughs> no, I'm on it and got a text, and a work text. Yeah. And instinctively, when I'm on text, I stop walking because I don't want to run anything. Uh -huh. So I stopped on the treadmill, and it didn't stop. Ooh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I have the evidence on my leg to show it. It was been a viral video of somebody been in there recording it. You know, the, you know they the moving sidewalks at airports. Yeah, do you walk on them or let let, let them move you? Uh, I don't use. Them. Stand still. Yeah. I don't use oh, them. really? You walk alongside? Yeah. I, don't like, I like to walk. Escalators like and things. You feel like you're walking real fast. Yeah, I'm not you a big fan of escalators. Like pass you like, look at this. Yeah. I'm walking real fast. Yeah, I, mean, I like escalators. I can walk and go upstairs myself. I don't need elevators. Do stuff. they have escalators around here? Mm. ECU does. I don't know if anybody else does. I know an escalator is at the uh, Albert J. Ellis Airport. They oh, there you escalator. go. Yeah. One. That's one. The mall. I don't think the mall's, the mall's there. Jacksonville Mall's flat. None of the malls here do. Yeah, no elevators here. The hospital has an elevator. We have an elevator in our building. Two floors. There's an elevator here. Yeah. There's more elevators. There's more elevators than there are escalators. Yeah. I, I don't. Just the point. We had a lot of them at home. So that, that bit of information is about as valuable as Leonard Skinner. Mm -hmm. So that's what you get here. We tune yeah. into uh, Good stuff. whatever this thing's called. So anyway. Carter Connects. Yeah. Did we uh, 
Let me fill this. Yeah, we're we good. Haven't talked about nothing, but uh, mom, thanks for joining us. <laughs> yeah, thanks, mom and Angie. <laughs> Bye. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs>